One of the great things about Facebook is that it captures a lot of your personal information, pictures and status updates and uh, maybe a, you know you blogging or your comments and that type of thing. And so what's nice about Facebook is that they have pretty good privacy settings for the different areas of your site. One of the first things you want to do to start controlling your privacy is to go to your friends page. And on your friends page you have what are called friend lists. And I've set up uh, some existing lists, some current lists called acquaintances, friends, and work. And I'm going to set one more up and I'm going to call it family. And so the way this works is after you've created these lists, you can add people to, to these lists. And so I'll go to all my friends, I'll search for my wife. And there she is. And all you have to do is click in the box. She's already added to my friends. Uh, what I can do is I can go up here to this little drop down, and I can also say that she's part of family. So friends and family. And you can do that with pretty much anybody. So if I were to go back to all my friends, I could click on this. Uh, friend and I could click on this drop down and I could add that person to any of my lists and right now I have him down as acquaintance. So now that you've set up all your friends with a particular list or lists what you can do is you can control what those different people can see. You do that by going up to settings and in privacy settings and then you go over to profile and then you'll see under profile that you have uh, all these different ways that you can uh, show or hide different parts of your profile uh, to different lists. So for example, if I have uh, status updates, what I can do is uh, right now it's set to only friends, uh, but I can actually customize that list. And so you may be used to doing just right here, friends of friends, only friends, some friends, um, and and networks uh, and then sometimes uh, you can even do an exception for people. In this case I really like working with my lists so I'll go some friends. Now I could start typing and find just whoever. In this case uh, I'm gonna say that I only want my status updates to be seen uh, by people who have been added to my friend list and so what I can do is I can start typing it and there's my list. Uh, that's a person, that's an actual list. So I just added that list. And then if I wanted to, if I was keeping um, the people on my list separate, like say I only put family members on the family list, and I only put close friends on the friends list, then I could also add family. And you'll see I added Catherine, and so she's on there too. And then I click OK, that, that everything else looks good and now we're done and that's how you control your custom lists. I can give you another example I'll save that, it's nice of them and I can go over to my main page and I'll click on photos and so one of the great things about Facebook is you can create multiple photo albums but I don't necessarily you know want to have all my albums show up for everyone uh, so for example I have this photo album called The Fam and if I'm really wanting to protect my uh, family photos from just anybody I've connected with on Facebook then what I can do is I can go up to uh, edit photos and I can go under edit info and so right now I'm editing the album The Fam uh, in my case The Family and you can see that I've already set up the privacy for just friends and in this case I also want to add um, access to this album to my family and so I'll go under edit custom settings and I can type in family and then I can click OK and now I now the people who have been added to my friends and family lists can have access to that album and nobody else um, that is connected to my profile will be able to see that and what's great about Facebook is you can control the privacy settings on just about every part of your profile um, by again creating lists and then going to the settings of the different areas of your profile and specifying that you only want um, particular lists to access that.